Hey everyone, Vegan Mark here. I want to talk about the idea of looking for objective truths in life. I think that humans have a tendency to do that. And I want to question how important that actually is. So I'm an involuntary client of Mental Health Authority and that means that I suffer a lot at their, at their hands. And one thing that I wanted to think about was whether my life is actually has meaning or not and whether that's a worthwhile thing to pursue. To be honest with you, I don't think that life has meaning. I have moved much closer towards nihilism um, because I realised that the lives of many, many trillions of animals slaughtered for human consumption um, in, and also a lot of wild animals suffer needlessly in a situation where nature does not treat us uh, with respect and nor do the exploits of humankind treat us with respect. So the question is really, is not so much what is our eternal truth, but does eternal truth even exist? So, um, I think that it's a, it's, a, um, it's a blessing to be able to look for truths and to look for deeper meaning in our life. But I also think that that is in many ways a falsity in itself because for the trillions of animals killed and exploited for their flesh uh, every year there is no truth um, it's completely blank so the question in, that I have to ask myself is what, where do I go from here uh, do I provide truth to the people that I'm dealing with do I just shut up? Do I pretend that nothing is important? Um, or do I live my life to the optimal level despite all the suffering that's going on around me? Um, my life is not as bad as um, it was for those suffering under the Jewish Holocaust, for example. It's not as bad as the animals that are slaughtered for their flesh. Um, but it's still bad. Um, nothing is going to stop going to deny that's the truth. Um, the fact that I have the opportunity to make this video is a blessing in itself. But how deeply and how much truth do I want to have in my life? Um, do I want to accept the truth that my life is mediocre? And also the idea that I'm going to write a story about my life and that story is going to be published and I'm going to be famous and my life is going to teach people how to live a better, how to, how to live better in the future is in itself not an objective and absolute truth either. I think that, okay, yeah, sure, if I had the choice, I would create a world which was better for future generations. Absolutely. There's no doubt about that. But how much value does it have in a society where, where might is right for a lot of the time, where power is offen offensive to so many people, where, where people are naturally unreasonable? So suppose that in the year 3000, for example, a human is born into a world where everything is reasonable, where all his needs are taken care of. Um, he doesn't have to worry about anything. He lives in a modelled world where everything that he needs is, take, is given to him. Is that world a world of truth? It's not a world of truth because in 2020 or 2021, the year in which I live, I'm suffering a hell of a lot. So the objectivity of that truth is actually not a truth at all, it's really a lie. And if we realise that we get closer to the truth, we realise that human civilization is not something that's built upon complete welfare and complete objectivity. It's actually built on a lot of lies 
and if we realize that lie we are living in the reality uh, closest to, to, to the possible reality that we could possibly live and I think that's um, most likely the closest we're going to live. We have to realize that there are people below us in the hierarchical, we have to believe that there is a hierarchy that we have there and that there are people below us living in sufferance um, greater than ourselves and our own sufferance and there are always people who are living in greater paradise than ourselves as well. Once we realize that we will start to get closer to the truth and maybe that will sustain us for a while. Maybe living every day as it comes is the only truth that we will ever live to the fullest extent possible. So yeah, I hope I've um, divulged a bit of my philosophy and I hope that this will, will provide some value to people in the future. Okay, bye for now.